Billy Graham once said, what a moment to take the newspaper in one hand and the Bible in the other and watch and watch the unfolding of the great drama of the ages. This is an exciting and thrilling time to be alive. I would not want to live in any other period. We reserve a few minutes to discuss current trends that you'd expect from reading Bible prophecy. We are futurists. That means we interpret all unfulfilled prophetic passages as future events in a global, uh, physical, apocalyptic context. Biometrics, artificial intelligence, cashless commerce, the manipulation of human DNA, global government, the exponential growth of human knowledge, one world religion, the rebirth of national Israel, all of those are end times developments the Bible predicts, and all of these are increasingly trending in the news. Now we read about a last day's global religious movement in the 17th chapter of the revelation of Jesus Christ. It is referred to as Babylon because it is the final form of the religious rebellion that began at the Tower of Babel. We therefore expect movement towards a global religion or at least an ecumenical movement, uh, meaning all-inclusive, all-embracing, universal, all faiths in one uh, accord. An impressive ecumenical complex is actually under construction. The Times of Israel posted a story titled, United Arab Emirates Reveals Progress on Interfaith Complex to House Synagogue, Mosque, and Church. Here's some excerpts from that article. Construction on the Abrahamic family house, a complex in Abu Dhabi, uh, slated to house a synagogue, a mosque, and a church, is 20% complete, officials revealed on Tuesday, June 15th. The government also announced that the synagogue at the site will be named the Moses Ben Mammon Synagogue after the 12th century philosopher and rabbinical scholar Mamanides. The mosque will be named Imam Al-Tayeb Mosque, and the church, St. Francis Church. The Abrahamic family house epitomizes interfaith harmonious coexistence and preserves the unique character of each religion, said Mohammed Khalifa al-Mubarak, chairman of the Department of Culture and Tourism, Abu Dhabi, and member of the Higher Committee of Human Fraternity. Wow, not too many members of that. I never heard of him, but it's big. The naming of the three houses of worship recognizes the work of His Eminence Grand Imam Al-Tayeb, His Holiness Pope Francis, and Moses Ben Maimon, and harnesses their teachings to forge a message of goodwill for future generations around the world. Visitors to each house of worship will have the opportunity to observe religious services, listen to Holy Scripture, and experience sacred rituals while a fourth unaffiliated space will serve as a center for all people of goodwill to come together as one. Uh, The Abrahamic family house is slated to be completed in 2022. And so they're representing Catholicism and uh, Islam uh, and Judaism, and then there's a place for everybody else that's unaffiliated with one of those groups. So it's a movement towards, uh, it's an ecumenical movement, all is one, everybody believes in God, Uh, there's no problem Uh, with other people's beliefs. Now, we don't know how or even if this Abrahamic house has anything directly to do with the one world religion in the Bible. We're pointing out that the Bible long ago predicted ecumenism of this type in the last days, and this structure is what you'd expect. You read the Bible and say, well, it looks like there's going to be a one world religion, and then you read the newspaper and you say, oh, they're building the Abrahamic house uh, to house all people who want to come together as a single faith. We believe the resurrection and rapture of the church are imminent. It can happen at any moment. Nothing needs to happen before it happens, and it will occur before the great tribulation. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready. Stay ready. Keep looking up. Ready or not? Oh, you remembered. 